I'm Richard Abbey. I'm with Lipton Store Beds. Uh, we're going to demonstrate today uh, how to assemble a storage bed. So you purchase your storage bed, you've got it delivered to your house. Uh, this happens to be a queen size. This big uh, square box here is the top, and this long skinny box here are all your base pieces. So we're going to go through what it takes to assemble the bed, uh, just as if it were delivered to your house. So you've had some help lugging these into your room, and we're going to uh, go ahead and open the boxes now and start assembling the base. So first we're going to do Brian, my assistant, will uh, help me move this. Brian, let's move this over to this other wall here. This is the top. We'll do this last, so we're just going to slide this out of the way for the moment. First thing we're going to do is lay this down on the ground. And using our scissors, we'll cut open the strapping on the box. We'll start taking out the pieces of the base here, and we're just going to move them up against the wall. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling the base. Uh, the first pieces that I want you to be aware of are the long pieces, which are the two sides of the bed. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay these out generally in the area that we're going to put the bed together in, or where it's going to be uh, its final resting place. The long pieces are the sides. You'll note that there are two holes that are towards the front and towards the top. Those go towards the, the end of the bed where your feet are going to be. So we're going to have them at the top, and then we're just going to fold it down and lay it on the ground. That would be one side. We're looking for the edge that has the edge banding on it, the finished side. And this one is going to be the footboard piece that's going to go to the front. And the reason I, I know it's the footboard is it doesn't have a little notch on the front. So I'm going to lay that one down at the footboard. This piece has the little notch up at the top. That's going to be your headboard piece. And we're going to lay that down up here at the head of the bed, and we're going to put the, the cam holes, these big round holes, facing up on all the pieces that have those. The two side pieces will not have it, but the, the headboard and footboard piece will. This is the other side, and again I'm looking for the, the, two, piece, the two holes that are in a little bit from the top and from the side. These are going to be where the bracket for the bottom of the shock are going to mount. So again, we're going to lay that down on the side. And now we have our four pieces. This small piece here is going to be a center support, which we'll put on last. That's going to go right here, but for the, for the moment, we'll just lay that out of the way. Now, the next thing we're going to do Okay, we're just going to put our strapping on this big box here and get our hardware out that we need. Just going to reach in the box and grab the hardware. You'll also find the instructions in that box. I've done this enough, I don't. I don't need the instructions, but I highly recommend that if you're putting it together for the first time, read through the instructions. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the, assemble the base of the lift and store bed. Um, these silver metal brackets are for the shocks. We'll put those aside for the moment. These 
two inch lag bolts. They're kind of a, a antique brass color. We're going to use those to assemble the corners. So I'm just going to go through and separate all the parts. There's some that you'll see have mach machine screws and then some are wood screws. So we'll separate those into two piles. And then there's some carriage bolts and nuts that go with the shock mounts. The smaller wood screws are what we're going to use to, there's nine of those, that's what we're going to use to attach the top down to the base of the storage bed. These plastic black uh, round or uh, uh, cams, they're called cams, are what we're going to use for the corners and then the corresponding metal studs. So Brian, if you can get me the mallet. First thing we're going to do is take one of these cams, place it into the big large hole, everywhere you see a, a hole on the side, and we're just going to give it a little tap with the hammer. We're not going to pound on it. We don't want to break it. We just want to lightly tap them in until they're flush with the top. And when you put them in the hole, you want to align it so the flat side is towards the edge. And if you push on it a little bit, it'll start a little bit into the hole. And again, just give it a, a few little taps until it goes into place. So we're going to continue that. Everywhere there are the large round holes on the edge. Brian, I think that small piece there against the wall that needs a couple of cams. You want to make sure these are as straight as possible when you hammer them in. And the last two go in this small piece that we set aside earlier. We'll just go ahead and Put those all in there now since we're doing this. Okay, put that one aside, Brian. Now on a king size, the only difference on the king size is the headboard and footboard on the king size storage bed is a little wider. And then this small support piece goes all the way from the front to the back. So you'll have a few extra hardware pieces with cans and studs uh, to put in on a king size versus the queen. But uh, again, this is a... Uh, this is a queen size, so uh, there's just a small center support in the middle. Okay, next thing we're going to do, I actually have these on the wrong side. You'll see four holes along the edge closest to the front, and then the two shock mount bracket. Uh, for the shock mount brackets, and those finished ends want to be pointed up. So what we're going to do is get our Phillips head screwdriver. And we're going to get these small cam studs, and we're going to carefully screw these into the outside hole that are going to match up with these cams. We're going to screw those in just until they stop. They have a little stop about a half inch up from the bottom. It only allows you to screw it in to that point. So we're going to repeat that on both ends of the sides as well as the middle of the headboard piece which is where that small support piece will be attached. And of course, once you get your bed, if you determine that you're missing any hardware, uh, give us a call at Lift and Store Beds, and we'd be happy to get you any missing parts that you may have. And these can be put in with a power drill. Um, they're really easy to strip out, so I would 
recommend just using a hand tool on it. Okay, now we've got all of our hardware on the on the side pieces. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start connecting them at the corners. So Brian, if you can help me lift this up. Hold that. And again, this could be done with, with one person. But what you want to do is line up the corners so the studs go into the can. And then taking your Phillips screwdriver, put it into the cam, and it's going to be at about a 45 degree angle to the corner. And just tighten that screw about a turn and a half. So we're going to repeat that at all four corners. Um, this is an unfinished end. This is going to be covered with the top. So don't worry about seeing the wood there once you get the top on. All right, there's the four corners. Now we're going to attach the center support. This little finished end on the front goes towards the front of the bed. Next thing we're going to do is attach the, the bottom shock brackets. Brian, you want to grab the, the flat bracket. There's an angled one and there's a, a flat one. I'm going to use my net driver of 7 sixteenths. Put that in my drill. These are machine screws. They're inch and a quarter machine screws. And those are going to go from the outside. And then we're going to put those nuts on the inside of those screws. And then using our screw gun, we're just going to snap those up. You don't want to go too crazy with them because they might blow through. You just want to snug them up. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. These are our two inch lag bolts and these will be used to secure the corners for some extra support. So using the an Allen wrench, just a standard Allen wrench, we're going to screw these into, there's two on each corner and then two on that little short back support. They're all pre-drilled. Uh, once in a while you'll, you might notice that there's not a pre-drill hole in the side for these lags. If, if you don't see a hole there, it is there. Uh, it just doesn't go through the, the actual finish. So if you run your finger along the edge, you'll feel a little bump. Just take the lag bolt and push on it. And you'll find the hole and just push it through. Okay, so your lift and store bed is now, the base is now assembled. Uh, putting those lags in were probably the hardest part <laughs> of putting the whole bed together. Uh, we've taken the top off of the box with the top. So we're just going to move some of the packing material out of the way. Down the bottom of the box, you're going to have your two pistons and your instructions. Uh, right now, we're just going to uh, set those. Actually, we can, we can pull those out. We can actually snap on the shocks to the bottom. These go with the uh, fat side of the piston facing up, so the skinny side is just going to pop onto the bracket down at the bottom, and then the little end opposite that, you'll want the little ball facing outward, so if it's not, just twist it, twist the whole shock until it's facing out, and just lay them on the ground there. You got that, Brian? Now, a couple things to notice about the top. There's a, a hinged piece. Be careful not to let that fall. Uh, this piece goes on the back of the bed. Uh, you'll notice two notches cut into the top here. Those are going to line up with the notches that are on the base, and that will help align it and keep everything square. So, Brian, you want to help me get this top put on? So this is where you kind of need a friend to help you, especially if it's a king. The king is very big and very heavy, much bigger than this. This is a queen size. So uh, this is the where the sticker is. That faces the foot of the bed. So that's going to go on this end, so we're going to have to rotate around. So Brian, pick it up. We're just going to lay it in position. 
And then we're going to lift this over. And what we're going to do is get down here and you want to line it up with those notches. And you'll feel it drop down. And just look down there and make sure that it's down. And then we're going to take the nine wood screws and a power drill. And those are going to go down in these nine holes. You want to go just below the surface of these. You don't want it to snag your mattress. It's very important to put these all these screws in before you put your shocks on. Next thing we have to do is put on our top shock mounts. And that's going to be our shiny silver screws. Push those in from the outside. And then I need some nuts over here, Brian. The orientation of this is these uh, ball mounts face inward on both sides, so they'll be facing each other. Don't worry if those bolts on the other side are sticking out a little bit. Once you snug these down, it'll suck those right in so they're flush with the top. Next thing you're going to do is mount the shocks to the top of the uh, to the top. And the way I do it is I just get in the bed and rest it on my back, and then bring it down to where the top of the shock mounts on the top bracket. Now, the bed's assembled, you're done. Um, the only thing you need to do is align the bed where you need to put it in your room. We're going to put it against this wall over here. Okay, now the only thing left to do is move the bed back to the wall. And Josh is going to assist me with that. But you want to make sure the top is up when you move it. And just grab it here and here. And we're just going to Lift it barely off the ground and slide it right back to the wall. If you have a headboard, you can put a headboard between the wall and the bed and just sandwich it between the, the platform and the wall. Uh, otherwise, you don't need a headboard. And that's it. That's all there is to assembling it. Uh, one thing you will note that the bed is very hard to put down. You really have to push hard to get it to go down uh, if you don't have a mattress on it. It will go. You just have to press it hard. Um, if it binds up at all, you might have to shift the base back and forth a little bit and be careful opening it without a mattress on it because it uh, comes up pretty fast. So put a mattress on it, make the bed, and start loading it. That's all there is to it. So if you have any other questions, you can call us at Lift and Store Beds at 480-380-8018 or visit our website at storagebeds.com.